I'm sitting here with JL Tunes, J Tizzle, and Lyrical. How are you doing, guys? Hey, what's up, man? Uh, JL and John, man. Yeah, I feel it 100 every day, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. Um, I want to talk to you guys a little bit how you got into rapping. Um, Justin, I know you know you've been doing it for a long time, and Eric, you just kind of past couple of years have been getting into it. How uh, how did you guys kind of start, and how did you guys kind of meet and get together? Well, basically, I was just uh, experimenting with different programs because I always wanted to rap, so I would record on different programs. And then one day, I was just hanging out with some buddies and. Uh, Eric just happened to be over the day that we were doing a session and he said he thought he would want to hop on track so I was like yep. look man we'll give it a shot so I basically I feel like I discovered him in a way even though I'm not really signing checks to anybody but <laughs> uh, where's my paycheck by the way you know, just progressed over the years and we formed jail tunes and just we've been really moving in the past year like before last year we were just making songs not doing anything with them now we're we're actually performing and going places with our music so we're hoping for the best but expecting the worst so it's just i just look forward to this journey through the rap the rap game and this entertainment industry right well i mean uh shit we're right now like uh like he was saying like we're performing places like doing places like five seasons uh going up to uh like Philadelphia doing Club 18, you know, shout out to Riley, all of them, they, uh, they've been hooking us up, helping us get us uh, performances and shit like that, uh, what's it called, but then also we're doing like uh, Club Rebel in April, we're uh, opening up for Joel Santana, you know, like, you know, everybody's got their little, like, little, like, mark that they need to set up to, like, to, to, like, to impress these hip-hop heads up in the industry, I feel like, you know, doing a place like Club Rebel, opening up for Joel Santana, they're going to have uh, an eye opener about what, what's about to be coming uh, for the future, you know what I'm saying? And I'd also like to add that um, Eric and I uh, have really good work ethic when it comes to doing sessions. I've worked with several other uh, rap artists and R&B singers over the years. And out of all the people that I've worked with, me and Eric got the most work done. And I know he takes it serious, so... I mean, you gotta take it serious to work in my studio. So, you know, we we get done a lot of songs and we've been putting out a lot of material and that's pretty much it. We just yeah. keep doing our thing every day. Every day's music for us, you know what I'm saying? We we, we rarely take breaks and if we do it's just to sleep and mm -hmm. shit, you know? But it's the same question, man. Right? I mean, uh shit. I I feel like why I like I like doing music with Jay besides uh, you know, making songs in general, I just feel like he's uh very talented with like uh like Matt, like now he's just rapping. Like I think he's a dope rapper as it is. But I think uh his engineering skills, like he knows how like to uh mix and master songs. He knows uh he's learning how to make beats on Ableton right now. It's, it should, every time I uh hear something new from him man, it should be wild. I'd be like, Damn, this motherfucker just learned uh Ableton just two weeks ago and there he is already making a full beat, you know, mm -hmm. like real talk for example, man. That should be wild. Thanks, man. Well, Justin, I know you probably, you've been doing this for about 10 years or so. What's yeah. kind of the biggest thing you've learned in, I guess, the past 10 years? What kind of lesson have you kind of got out of all this so far? I would say the, the biggest lesson that I have learned from this is not, not to be naive. Because being naive will just set you up for a big fall in the end. You got to have patience to do this kind of thing. And you can't expect things to happen because when it first, you know, at the beginning, if something to my standards big would happen, like if I thought something was going to happen, I thought I was getting signed immediately. Like, for instance, I had a meeting with Def Jam in New York. And I thought, bam, before, before they even meeting happened I was like man I'm definitely getting signed and when it didn't happen it was like an eye-opener for me I was just you know just hoping <laughs> to get out of get signed it just, just <laughs> wouldn't happen and then things keep happening but you can't expect that you're just gonna get signed overnight it's gonna take a long time and now that I'm more experienced I'm aware of that so I know that I'm not just gonna be you know a superstar tomorrow or next week right mm -hmm. so 
just got to be patient. So just don't be naive because I used to believe every little thing that happened. That, like someone told me I thought it was going to happen and it never did. So that's probably the biggest lesson for it. I think it kind of shows too. Like you can kind of smell the uh, the bullshit kind of quicker the longer you kind of do it. And yeah, kind of like you were exactly. saying, you know, when I'm looking for stuff for you guys to do and like other artists and stuff, I actually had a guy email me the other day who said he liked your stuff. Um, it's like my brother works at uh, 106 and Park BT, and I'm like, oh, that's going to be awesome. But you know, I'm waiting for him to email me back. So you can't, you know, just be too excited about everything because everybody right. has their reasons for doing something and a lot of people just you know they aren't going to fall through right. with it so. and there's a lot of bluffs so i mean you gotta uh, you gotta be able to know what's real and what isn't you gotta be able to separate the two and just you just gotta mainly be yourself because if you stay true to yourself you'll be satisfied in life you know what i'm saying just you know don't don't let the shit really get to you because i know there's a lot of shit that'll happen in this that'll make you want to give up there's so many like tr like obstacles and you know I just I never let it let it get to me I just keep going because of how much I love doing music and being in my studio so